Mixed martial arts champion Conor McGregor makes his acting debut alongside Jake Gyllenhaal in a big-budget remake of 80s classic Roadhouse. Yet while fans will be awaiting the verdict from its world premiere, the man who played Conor's role in the original with a late Patrick Swayze is pulling no punches about what he thinks. In fact, Marshall Teague is adamant, Connor and Patrick's successor Jake Gyllenhaal don't have a fighting chance of beating their iconic brawling scenes, as theirs were actually real. Just like the broken bones they gave each other. The US Navy veteran turned actor, 70, said, if you watch the film, we're not pulling the punches. He kicked me in the eye and cracked one of my sockets with a spinning kick. So I busted his ribs. A log I broke across his ribs was not in the script, it was ad-libbed. I just picked it up and hit him and he really did grimace and collapse. The original Roadhouse was released in 1989, two years after Patrick's sturdy dancing and became an instant cult hit thanks to the sheer brutality of its fight scenes. The movie is a staple of pop culture and remains one of America's most watched films. The plot is simple, Swayze's James Dalton is a bouncer who protects a bar in Missouri from a corrupt businessman and henchman Jimmy Reno, played by Marshall. But filming it was anything but easy. A former undercover police officer with martial arts and military experience, Marshall reveals the then 36-year-old Patrick, who he called Buddy, was intent on showing he could play a lover and fighter, having shot to fame as a romantic lead. At first Vietnam veteran Marshall, who lives in Texas, chastised him for his lackluster fight skills. But that fired up them up to beat the hell out of each other for real in their scenes and not cheap movie audiences. It was the start of a brutal five-night exhausting and damaging all-action shoot for just one brawl alone. Yet cameras caught Patrick Grin during the screen fight even after winding his pal with a flying knee kick catching me right in the chest. When we first got into it, every crew member jumped on top us and pulled us apart come on guys, don't kill each other. We're trying to make a movie here, Marshall recalls, our arms, chest, sides, legs and backs were black with bruises. They packed he and I in ice. Then the director asked, can you do it again? Dash, and we said, oh hell. Yes. The new Roadhouse movie's premiere will take place in Austin, Texas, after being chosen to open this year's esteemed South by Southwest Arts Festival it will be streaming on Amazon from March 21st. Marshall is enthusiastic about the casting of Connor and Jake, who is no stranger to action roles in the likes of Southpaw. But he reckons 2024 rules will have prevented them from being as authentic as him and Patrick. We'd continue all night long to where we were mentally and physically exhausted, that would never happen today in the new roadhouse, he said. Jake is a tough son of a buck and Connor is a hell of a fighter, but they would not be allowed to hurt and fight like we did. Marshall went on to roles in Walker, Texas Ranger, Babylon 5, The A-Team, The Rock and dozens more and is now in upcoming biopic Reagan and Comedy Delivery Fee, he could not make a cameo in Roadhouse 2024, for a good reason. People ask if I am in it, they forget Jimmy got his throat ripped out, he laughs. Becoming close friends Marshall and wife Lindy regularly visited Patrick and his wife Lisa Mimi at their home and shared regular calls for 20 years after until his tragic passing from pancreatic cancer aged 57 in 2009. Marshall says, he'd be working in India, but call me at 3 a.m. For two hours we'd talk about everything you can imagine. 
it never mattered what time it was, we always made time for each other. We always ended every call I love you brother. Marshall keeps the last text message that Patrick left him, days before his passing, on his phone as a reminder of their brotherhood. I transfer it to every phone, I got his message two weeks before he died after I told him I was there if he needed anything, he recalls. He told me, partner those words mean a lot to me. Understand I am going to beat this sucker. I love you. Buddy. When I heard he died it stopped the world cold. Marshall adds, Roadhouse was not made to win an Oscar, but we went to a fight and a movie broke out. People always talk about that film, The Fight and Patrick. I think about him every day. Marshall is starring in upcoming biopic Reagan and Comedy Delivery Fee. Roadhouse is streaming on Prime Video from Thursday, March 21st.